Good morning, everybody. Oh, Finley, can you sit? Does this book look familiar to you guys? I think, yeah, it's the Jesus one. That's right. I think most of you, maybe all of you, have a book just like this, right? This is called the Beginner's Bible. Yeah. Yep, you guys have one at home. Yeah, I think all of you guys do. We love to give these Bibles out when people are baptized here, right? This is a Bible, a simple version. Mm hmm. Yep. Let, let me talk this morning. You guys listen, okay? Yeah. Right, this is a Bible. I brought this because, well, we talked a little bit about prophets this morning, right? We, we heard from Isaiah the prophet, right? And he, he saw ahead of time what Jesus was going to be like, and then Jesus quoted Isaiah the prophet. And I wanted to ask you if you knew what a prophet looks like. Did you ever think about what a prophet looks like? So in these Bibles, they have drawings of what they think a prophet might have looked like. And, and, and actually, Jesus talked about two prophets, Elijah and Elisha, and, and those two stories are in the Bibles you have at home. You could go home after church and ask your mom and dad to read these stories to you. Right? This is one, right? Elijah helps a widow. Right? Jesus said there was a time when there was a famine in the land and, and all, the crops were, uh, all the crops were dying, right? And Elijah helped this widow. And so this is what they think Elijah might have looked like. Clayton, you see? Right? We think of prophets of, as having big hair and big long beards and these long robes, right? They think that's what it looks like. The other prophet Jesus mentioned was Elisha. This guy, oops, one more page. This guy, right? Does he look a little bit like Elijah? Big hair. Actually, he's kind of bald, isn't he? Huh. Big beard. Big long robe. My question for you is, do you think there are still prophets today? Yeah? The job of a prophet was to go tell people what God said. So are there still prophets today? There are. There are people who go out and tell people what God said. And do you know what they look like? Do they have big hair and big bushy beards and long robes? Some of them do. I've seen some... Some prophets with big, big beards. But you know what a prophet looks like? I brought you something that shows you what they look like. They look like that. Right? You see a prophet in there? Peyton, do you see a prophet in there? Yeah? Abel? Clayton, do you see a prophet in there? That's you. Right? And the fun thing is, as I show it to you, I can see my reflection because I'm in the back too. Oh, my goodness, I had the big side facing you. No wonder you couldn't see anything. Yeah, now you can see better, right? This is what a prophet looks like today. And I could hold this up to all the people in the congregation because who does Jesus say should tell people what God says? Everybody. Yeah, we are all prophets today. And that's why we have to listen to our sermon in a couple of minutes because as we see Jesus sharing God's word, we're going to learn a few things about how we share his word too, right? So Clayton, can you sit down over here? And Finley, can we pray? Let's pray to Jesus this morning, and let's ask him to help us tell people what God says. We fold our hands. Jesus, we thank you. You died on the cross to save us from our sins, but you also call us to be your prophets and go out and tell other people that good news too. Help us to, to know your word. Help us to read our Bibles and hear our stories. Help us then to share that with everybody that we know that they might have the same hope of heaven that we do. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you guys for coming up here. You guys can go back to your seats. The congregation will continue with our next hymn.